Hello, I'm Lennon Swan. Some businesses in the area are moving to our alternative health care options to save money. WTIU Shamika Neely reports on the area's largest employer, Indiana University, is now opening its own health care clinics. Companies are trying to find ways to manage health care costs and still provide benefits for employees. Indiana University Benefits Committee co-chair Mary Gray says in Bloomington there have been struggles to make basic health care facilities available to more people. At the same time, it puts a great burden on the administration and, um, and faculty and staff to, to, to find the balance between um, cost savings and um, the, the keeping the kinds of benefits we receive uh, to the quality that we need. And I think that's, that's the most pressing issue over the last two years, is recognizing the, the requirement to increase the cost of, of our health care. How do we still maintain access to premium health care? One way IU has responded is by opening new clinics to enhance the availability of primary care services, routine and urgent care. Richard Sutton is a benefits consultant with the Monroe County School Corporation. The district opened its own clinic three years ago and Sutton says the district is seeing the benefits when MCCSC employees and family members use the clinic for a primary office visit, there is no claim that is filed with the insurance company. Sutton says all costs are absorbed through the clinic, which costs just more than $30,000 each month. That's much less than if the claim were to go through insurance. For WTIU News, I'm Shamika Neely. Information regarding missing IU student Lauren Spear is no longer on IU's homepage. IU spokesperson Mark Land said the university has been in contact with Spear's parents about the presence of the content of the website and it was time to make changes. The information will now be displayed the first week of every month. Land says one of the biggest worries is that if people see the information for an extended period of time, they will stop noticing it. Republican Congressman Mike Pence is the first candidate for governor to get his name on the ballot. Pence says his six terms in Congress will help him as governor. He says the state needs a leader who knows how to say yes to Indiana and no to Washington, D.C. He says he plans a positive, issue-oriented campaign. Now here's a quick check of the weather. Tonight, mostly clear, lows in the upper 20s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, highs in the mid-40s. Tomorrow night, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of rain and snow, lows in the lower 30s. For WTIU, I'm London Swan.